I can feel it working up. And I can say, why'd that guy have to cut me off? There is absolutely nobody behind me. But yet he had to squeeze in right here. If he just slowed down, I wouldn't have to slow down. And I could drive 85 just like I was doing. But no, he had to cut me off. And then, then whenever I'm trying to merge, some idiot won't let me in. I squeeze in and I'm like, how dare him drive that way? You see how it kind of works? I, I can see their problem, but I have trouble seeing my own. And here's what I'm getting at is it's really easy to blame everybody else. So if you don't ever feel like you need to apologize, you may be struggling with pride. Let me give you one other one from this message. You might be a Pharisee if you obsess over everybody else's opinion of you. You see, the Pharisee, as we've already read, does what he does so others can see him and with his accolades in mind. I can imagine if they would have uh, had smartphones in that day with Instagram, how all of these good deeds would have unfolded. Maybe a picture of themselves, face thunking in, too big of clothes on. I haven't been this hungry since the last time I fasted for a week. And some kind of hashtag, spiritual disciplines are hard. Or taking a video camera themselves, giving 50 bucks to a homeless guy saying, sure feels good to be able to give. And I know I see this all the time out there. And people actually do this stuff. And if that's you, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to be critical of that. But, but listen, the problem with that is it's performance-based faith. What they were doing is what we often do today. We start doing things because we want people to think highly of us, and we got to make sure as many people can see us as possible. And the problem with performance-based faith is this. Once you start receiving accolades, that becomes your only motivation to serve. 